This is the Brava M6 Mop. It is the current mopping robot in iRobot's line. It's designed to work in tandem with the Roomba vacuum cleaners in iRobot's range. It is compatible with the i-series and above, and essentially when the vacuum is finished, it'll tell the mop to go out and clean afterwards. It's preferable to do it in this order because obviously if the dirt is still on the ground, when you wet it, it becomes mucky and it will just push the muck around the floor. It is a dedicated robot mop, which is quite rare actually. It has a nozzle on the front which sprays cleaning solution onto the floor, which it then drives over to mop up. This is different to most other options on the market which feed water directly down onto the mopping pad. Most other robot mops tell you just to use water, however iRobot actually includes some cleaning solution in the box. It is a smart mapping robot which means that it uses this V-Slam camera on the top to create a map of the home. You can then add no-go zones or even name rooms and select specific rooms to clean in each cleaning run. Because it's just a mop it has a larger than usual water canister on the top underneath a silver tab here. It's very simple to take out and refill. It comes with a reusable mopping pad and it also comes with a couple of disposable options, one for wet cleaning and one for dry cleaning. The robot will automatically detect which one is applied, so if you do put the dry pad on it won't spray water out first. And there are three separate cleaning modes, one for just a standard cleaning, then there's a deeper one and then there's a really thorough one. It's actually quite slow at cleaning, so the deep one will be quite slow, but it doesn't really matter because it's got a nice long 160 minute runtime, and it can recharge and resume where it left off if it needs to. Unlike vacuum cleaners as well, it's also quite quiet, so it's not too intrusive if you're at home at the same time. It also won't spray cleaning solution on furniture or carpet or walls, because before it sprays it will always reverse up. Then it will spray, then it will wipe it up, reverse again, and continue on. The square shape is a bit of an advantage because as you can see the mopping pad runs for the full length of the robot which means that it gets closer to the edges and corners. It is worth noting though that most of the weight is in the middle of the pad so it will do a much better job still in that centre zone. You'll often find that if you pre-spray floors with a hybrid vacuum mop combo, if you put cleaning solution on the floor the robot will slide around. On this mop though, the wheels are quite different. They're entirely made out of a slick, solid rubber design and they have a lot more traction. It uses the same iRobot app, which is super easy, but it also has three buttons on the top. One big clean button, which obviously just sends it out to clean. Then there's a spot cleaning function, which means it'll just clean an area around the robot. So if you want to, you can carry it to a spill, press the spot and it'll remove it. And then there's a home button, which will just send it home to charge. So you can manage all of your iRobots through the same app, which is always straightforward and pretty user friendly, really. As you can see, we still have Clean Elizabeth connected from our previous video. And up here you see Top Gun, the Brava Jet connected. As you can see, it says that he is ready to mop. We have a few very simple options on the home screen. Up the top we have the option to start a new job and we can set a time limit if we have one. Otherwise we can just click down here, mop everywhere, or we can set up some other favorites as well. Ultimately we can set up a schedule so that it will do a routine mop every uh, Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 a.m. Obviously we can change that up if we want to, it's just like setting an alarm. Otherwise, you can connect it to your home automation so it will detect when you leave the home and it will automatically go out and clean first. If you do have an i-series room with connected, it will go out and vacuum first and then the M6 will automatically go out once it's finished. Once you've done some cleaning, you'll see the cleaning history and it will show you exactly where it's been and how long it's taken. You'll also get any messages if there's any errors or updates ready to go. You'll see them here. The most interesting section is for the wet mopping behavior. Here you can see that there's a standard cleaning which means that it will just methodically cover each spot once. Then we have the deep one which means that it will cover everywhere more than once and it will do a bit better job if you have any tough messes. Then below we have the extended coverage which is better for big houses but it will do things a little less thoroughly. Down below we have the jet spray amount which as you can see is just a slider and you can adjust how much it will spray. Once you start cleaning it will automatically create a map which you can then add virtual barriers and cleaning zones on. The M6 mop performed well in our cleaning tests and it easily removed all of the grape juice and the sticky syrup as well. I think that the cleaning solution did help remove that sticky residue as well. We recommend the M6 for iRobot owners who like the vacuuming and have a bit of hard floor that they'd like to get mopped afterwards. It is still better for maintenance mopping and it won't remove stubborn old stains, but if you start with a clean floor and do it regularly, it will do a really good job. If you have large hard floor areas, it may take a while to clean, but it doesn't really matter because it is quiet and it just gets on and does it. It can also recharge and resume as I've already said, 
It is worth noting though that if you have hard floor areas separated by carpet, that you will have to carry it between those areas because it won't go on carpet at all. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments below and we'll try our best to get back to you. Otherwise, please subscribe as we have other cool content coming soon.